from Rixie. This is the Daily Rec. I'm Steve Skeels, host of Rixie's new video game news podcast, Debuff. My game recommendation for today is Bloodborne, a game by From Software. I first heard about this game a little over five years ago. I was a bit late on moving to the next generation of consoles, and at the time I hadn't decided between Xbox One or PS4. So as one does, I was looking up what exclusives there were to try to figure out what I wanted to pick up. I had a 360 previously, so I was initially leaning towards the Xbox One, but uh, then I came across Bloodborne. And immediately I thought, yeah, I need this game. So I got it, and now it's one of my favorite games, if not my favorite. So to kind of set up what this game's about, the quick version is uh, you're a hunter looking for something called Pale Blood. Um, You're an outsider who's come to the city of Yarnum, and you quickly find out some shit is going down here. You fight some crazed town people, but quickly you run into messed up monsters and giant beasts that you got to take down to get on your way. A couple things I like, uh, the setting I think is really cool. It's gothic Victorian inspired, which I don't think is very common in games. And uh, while much of the early game takes place in the city of Yarnum, um, you do get to see many different environments as you progress. And to that end, I got to say the level design is on point. There's interconnected areas and um, similar to some other games I've played, Dark Souls or kind of metroidvania style games where you might go through an area and then you know find a shortcut pop back out to somewhere you've already been with that there's also cleverly placed enemies and secrets and things like that it's uh i i think it's really clever the storytelling is mostly through environmental and item descriptions and stuff like that so i think that's intriguing personally and it, it's really cool where you kind of have no idea what's going on at first but You know, as you progress, you start to piece things together with minimal exposition throughout the game. Probably the biggest part is that, yeah, the combat is awesome. Some of my favorite in gaming. Fast-paced and visceral. Basically forced to play as a kind of glass cannon because there's pretty much no way to build a tank. I might be a little bit biased on that as glass cannons, one of my favorite play styles in in action games, action RPGs, stuff like that. But uh, even besides that, There's other parts to the combat that are great. Every weapon is awesome and usable. Every weapon has two modes where you can transform between them, even mid-combo. Really, the weapons are probably the coolest thing to me. The early weapons you get are pretty simple. You start off with a choice between three, a couple like a hand axe that turns into a halberd pretty much, or a cane that turns into a whip. But then there are some really cool weapons like a big-ass wheel you carry on your shoulder or the limb of one of the enemies, it's great. Of course, the game is uh, very similar to the Souls games, uh, but has some obvious differences. So, I mean, there's no real shields or guns to parry enemies. Magic is basically just uh, tools you can use. Personally, I feel like Bloodborne is the better game. Uh, It feels a lot tighter and more deliberate than Dark Souls and really any other action RPG I've ever played. If you haven't played it or you have attempted and given up, yeah, the game is hard. Just like a lot of other From Software games and other games that try to be challenging, it just takes time to learn. Uh, You can't play it like most action games where you just run in and kill a big group of enemies without getting hurt. I hadn't played Dark Souls before I played this, so when I started, I think I played the game for four hours and then started over because I wasn't getting anywhere. Uh, Then on my new save, I got through the beginning area pretty easily since I now knew it well. And uh, finally, the game clicked for me. So if I can do it, I think uh, more people should give this game and others of its kind a try. So personally, I'd recommend this game to anyone who likes a good action game or action RPG, especially if you like a challenge. It's normally pretty cheap now, so if you can spare 20 bucks, I would go and at least get the base game to give it a shot. Uh, But if you do like games like Dark Souls and for some reason haven't played this, uh, do yourself a favor and either go buy or borrow a PlayStation 4 to try it out. Bloodborne came out in March 2015, 
If you want to check it out, there will be a link to the digital version in the show notes. Uh, the reason I've been on the Daily Rec this week is because I'm hosting Rixie's new podcast, Debuff. It's a twice-weekly gaming news podcast where we give you the status of recent releases, games, and stories around the horn. If you want to check it out, the link is in the show notes too. Thanks again, and have a good weekend. <laughs>